Hey guys, what is up? Going to do a review for Justice League number 24, Forever Evil tie-in. Uh, first off, I do love the uh, cover, the uh, uh, Crime Syndicate cover, uh, mimicking the original Justice League number one cover. I think it's really kind of a cool thing. Uh, this issue is basically all about Ultraman, his uh, upbringing, origin, how it really, how it's incredibly similar, but at the same time incredibly opposite from uh, our world or Earth One Superman, and uh, you just kind of see that character, uh, what he went through to become who he is. There's some cool moments here. Uh, it's really cool seeing him dealing with uh, Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane, and it really gave a feeling of a world without of this world without the Justice League is kind of how terrified it is when no one's coming to the rescue. Of course, without spoilers, something happens, and he doesn't just go on a complete rampage. But overall, I did enjoy this issue quite a bit. Uh, the beginnings, I didn't love a lot. Like, I felt it was a little forced of him on how opposite his upbringing was on the Earth 3 version of Krypton, and how exact the opposite was. I mean, there were some cool ideas, but just, uh, I, go, I go back and forth on kind of if I like it or not. I think it's enjoyable and worth uh, ch someone checking out. Uh, overall, I would think I would say it's worth it. It's a very quick read. Uh, it adds, uh, I would say, it adds a little bit more to the Forever Evil story just to get to understand Ultraman a little bit more and just how uh, kind of despicable that character is. So I'll say if you're enjoying Forever Evil, pick it up. If not, you can probably skip it. I enjoyed it, however. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten, and I'll see you guys in another review or video.